guys, Melissa here from designsmylittlebee.com. I want to do a really fun video today of an unboxing. You've seen when people get fun goodies in the mail and they do a little video of them opening the package and showing what's inside. First things first, I do know that my hair is blue. I dyed it last night and I had no idea that this package was going to come today. So. Uh, it's really vivid still. Um, none of it has washed out and it's really blue. Uh, second thing, second, I do know that my fingertips are blue. For those of you hairstylists in our fan group and watching this video, yes, feel free to chastise me and scold me for touching my hair before it was done without the gloves on. I'm paying the price. I look really silly. Um, I'm just generally a messy artist type and I couldn't help but touch it and so now my fingers are blue. So I know better but I just wanted to let you guys know that I know. And third things third, yes I'm sitting on the floor in my house. This is the best lighting in my whole house so it is what it is I'm sitting on the floor. You guys know that I'm kind of addicted to eyelets now. We used to use them for scrapbooking back in the day. And then I started embroidery and they kind of faded into the background and now they're back again. I love using eyelets for, gosh look how blue, <laughs> I look like a smurf, look. We use eyelets for lip balm holders. One of my newest favorite things to use them for are little holders of all sorts of things like I keep my headphones in here, I have little Bluetooth headphones. Um, that wrap up in a little ball and I put them in here and when you use an eyelet versus a snap now I've never had problems with a snap but I know that a lot of our fans do have problems whether it's with dexterity or the tools that they're using um, it's hard for them to get the snaps to close and stay snapped they also have some malfunctions after the fact and you know if you have nice headphones that you don't want the snap coming off and then falling out and losing your headphones. The greatest alternative to snaps are eyelets. With designs that I make, like this headphone case, I make it so that there is a hole in the top, you put your headphones or whatever in it, and then it's got two sides. Um, I put an eyelet in the front, I did not put an eyelet in the back one, because this is vinyl and I just felt like it didn't need it, it's pretty strong. And then I take these big, large clasp hardware and I close up my item and put the clasp through it. So this is super secure, even if they jangle around and stuff, it's probably not going to be able to come out of that little hole. See? I've been using a lot of American Crafts brand supplies. I use, I've been using their hole punch for a long time, this really big, nice hole punch to punch through like cardstock, business cards. I use it, oh shoot, I meant, I should have brought an example over here. If you've seen me uh, use, put, if you've seen me buy a gift card to like Starbucks or a Visa card or Kroger, McDonald's, whatever, I punch a hole in it and then I clip a little key fob to it. It makes a really personal, special gift. If you feel kind of weird like I always have about giving away a gift card, it just feels impersonal. So you can make the the person a little key fob, like a holiday key fob or one with their name on it or, or something special to them. And then I punch a hole through the gift card using this big mashy puncher. And then you can clip your hardware through the key that hole and it makes a really special personalized gift. So I love using this. This is by American Crafts. I forgot the name of it, but I can find it. It's not that hard to find. I think I got this one at Hobby Lobby. Don't forget to use your coupon, of course, if you go and buy it. And for the purpose of eyelets, I use 3 16 inch. Those are the ones that work best, in my opinion, uh, and the easiest to find with the hardware that we use. 3 16 inch. They're really pretty big. It looks kind of small on my hand, but they're pretty big. Um, a lot bigger than the ones you usually think of when you think of an eyelet, you think of that little tiny thing. And for those, I've been recommending for a long, long time now, the Cropodile. I have another video elsewhere on my YouTube channel showing exactly how to use the Cropodile. Oh, stuff's falling out of it. It looks really complicated. It's not. It's so easy. Basically, I'll link to the video, but basically, you punch a hole using these hole punchers on the side, depending on the size you're using, and then you put the eyelet in here, and you mash, and it squishes the eyelet. Done. 
Now, after a while of using eyelets, I started thinking, hmm, what else could I use eyelets on? And one of the ways, for example, was on my gym bag. This is the backpack that I take to the gym every day and I have my headphone case and I have a badge reel with my ID that swings off of it so I can check in at the gym. And all of these key fobs I had been hanging off of the zippers, which made them very clunky, very hard to use. This bag has metal zippers, so they're already kind of tedious to work because I went for beauty instead of function. But especially when I was adding all these key fobs onto them, it was making them really difficult to use and I was afraid I was gonna pop a zipper off or break it or something. So I thought, how can I hook my key fobs onto my gym bag without using zippers? Bah, eyelets. And I had this brainstorm, my friend Amber was here when I did it, so she can prove that I, I thought of this and I did it on my own. I installed two sets of eyelets. One here, which is right inside the front pocket, you can see it goes straight through. And then, I got really bold and crafty, and I installed one on the side. This is where I keep my um, ID badge. Uh, so I can just pull it, check into the gym, and let it retract back. This one was pretty hard because as you can see, the lining of, oh, it sure looks pretty in this light. Um, the lining of this bag is on the front and the back. So this was like an unaccessible area. And I was, so in case you can't envision what I'm talking about, I installed two eyelets and then I have these big monster, I sell these on my website at designsbylittlebee.com, these big monster clasps. And I just hook the clasp through like that. See? And now my things can hang without uh, disrupting the zipper function. So with those, I was using my Cropodile. And as you can imagine with this, around the zipper, this big piping around the zipper, it was really difficult. And I actually messed up a couple of eyelets trying to get it done and I took them out and had to redo them. So I started thinking about American Crafts next, pro next offering in this line of crafts that I'm using, which is the same as the Cropodile, but it's called the Big Bite. And what it is, is a, basically a big giant setter, like an eyelet setter. I was gonna buy it on Amazon, but I thought I would reach out first to my friends at American Crafts and let them know about how much we love their eyelets and that we have a pretty big Facebook group and we're kind of a big deal. And um, that we, I've been wanting to buy the Big Bite and I wanted to know if they would give me like a discount or uh, send me some eyelets with it or something that I can use so that I can recommend this to all of our fans in good faith. I say that just to say that I did receive this product in exchange for uh, this video and for me recommending it to my fans. I think that's kind of a rule when you get something you should disclose that you got it and you didn't pay for it. Um, but I was gonna buy it anyway, so I feel totally okay telling you guys that because I was gonna buy it whether or not they sent it to me. I just figured what would it hurt. So anyway, this is the package that arrived on my doorstep uh, not even an hour ago. I didn't even have time to try to scrub all the blue dye off of my fingers. And I have no idea what's inside. Oh my God, I did, they sent me the big bite. So what I didn't realize is that it actually has the same name, Cropodile. It's the same thing, but it's Big Bite. And as you can see, first of all, I love this teal, mint, seafoam, whatever color. It makes me go gaga. As you can see, this is your range for setting an eyelet with the Cropodile. <laughs> right there. It's like an inch and a half. It's very small. It's, it's perfect for our key fobs and stuff. Not so perfect for any artsy, craftsy, Pinterest crap you wanna try. So this, here's your setting area for the Big Bite. Check that out, it is huge. So, but it looks like from the back that it functions just the same. It's got a puncher and then the setter. I just wanted to unbox it in this video and show you how excited I am and I will go open it up 
and I will do another portion of the video where I actually show how to use it. I think it's just the same as the crocodile, so it should be easy, okay? Okay guys, it's crafting time. So when all else fails, read the instructions, right? So I dug out my instructions at the bottom of my package and I gave them a good once over. First I tried reading them in French and that didn't work, so I switched over to the English version and gave it a look. So it turns out the Big Bite works very much like our regular sized crocodile. I really love already just, just handling it at first. I love this handle right here. So it's like you can really get a good handle on it while you're mashing. First, you'll notice where the puncher, the hole puncher is. This is an important part of your project. See my blue fingernails? If you didn't watch the beginning of the video, I dyed my hair blue for fun and touched it. So don't ever touch blue hair dye. If you see right here, there are our punchers. This one is 3 16 inch. Now if you look up at the top of your Big Bite, you'll see your selector. Now it's on 1 8 inch. Now watch. Boom. The smaller one deployed. Did you see that? Right there. So I'm going to change it back to 3 16 inch. You use it just like your regular crocodile. And I decided to put another hole in this backpack. I'm just addicted to punching holes in my backpack. So I'm going to maneuver my backpack into, and look at that. Look how much more space I have. I can go all the way out here to the middle of the backpack. Is that cool? So I just want it right, let's say right here. I'm gonna hang a lip balm from that one. And I can see that it's going to deploy right here from this black nub right there. So I'm going to just go Oh, you know what else I remembered while I was like taking a break was when I first started punching these holes in this backpack, I couldn't even fit my crocodile. Let me show you. I couldn't even fit the crocodile into the backpack. Like, see how small that space is that you have to punch holes? Look at that. I couldn't even get it in there. So what I did was I used my awl, I poked a hole, and then I trimmed a little tiny circle. And you know, when you're dealing with a, a backpack that you paid money for, it's kind of, you don't really want to experiment with new things. You know, you want this where, let me show you how precise this is. You get your big bite. I mean, it punches the holes for you. It's kind of hard to get it past this big thick piping on this backpack, but you know, that's what you get for thinking of your own crafting projects. So. If you see now, I've got perfect holes for my project. I didn't have to guess. I wasn't trimming using my trimming scissors and hoping that I didn't accidentally chop into the backpack. So I actually only brought one eyelet up here. So I can't install both of them. But I want to remind you that the Big Bite functions exactly like your crocodile does with the top and bottom. If you look at your instructions, you see this handy chart right here? It shows you what size accessory you're using and which of the hardware that you will use. Now, if you look at your Big Bite, let me get real close. If you look at your Big Bite crocodile, you will see in the corner, let me see if I can get the light on it. In the corner of each of the hardware cube, you'll see a letter or number, like that one, you see that little A? That it, for 3 16 inch eyelet, it said A and one. So I'm going to make sure that that one is also facing the middle. So on the top, I've got the A facing, on the bottom, I've got the one facing. Easy peasy, now you're ready to go. So what this does is when it's setting the eyelet, Remember how you were measuring your top hole puncher? If you go to the, if you move this this way, it shows you kind of a smusher picture. That is the setting that you want now to set the eyelet. Now when you smush it, you'll see this part goes through the top of the eyelet and kind of holds it steady. And then the little mountain looking hardware on the bottom actually gets pressed against the eyelet. And that is what makes it smush flat and installs the eyelet. I can see that my phone is dying, so I'm gonna quickly do this. You put it, put your crop, put your big bite back onto your project, get that top hardware 
lined up with the top of your eyelet and and give it a good smush and voila check it out just installed that beautiful eyelet so I'm just gonna run downstairs grab a second eyelet to put in that one and then I will have yet another really cool place to hang one of my large lobster claw key fobs so I hope this video I hope you weren't too distracted by my blue nails and I hope this video helped you see how cool the crocodile big bite is and that you really need it in your crafting life especially if you're like me and you think of a lot of wacky projects that you want to use eyelets on and also other things like washers and all sorts of little flat embellishments just make sure to look at your chart to show which hardware you need to use to set what objects okay i will chat with you in the group and i'll see you in the next video